In a shocking trend, Greater Hyderabad has logged fourfold increase in fishing attacks this year so far. Also, women, mostly housewives, have been found to be the targets of cyber crooks post demonetization. November 22, 2017, 0819, IST, Hyderabad In a shocking trend, Greater Hyderabad has logged fourfold increase in phishing attacks this year so far. Also, women, mostly housewives, have been found to be the targets of cyber crooks post demonetization. Though phishing has never been a gender specific crime unlike cyber stalking, the figures fox even cyber crime investigators. Even as police were trying to ascertain the reason for increasing number of women falling prey to phishing attacks, they claim it could be due to increasing use of payment methods, especially after demonetization. In 2016, 50 attacks were recorded by cybercrime sleuths, while the number has already touched 207 this year so far. Among the three commissionerates in the city, Rachel Conda clocked the maximum attacks with a fourfold increase in phishing cases. So far, 179 phishing attacks were unleashed on women in Rachaconda and Cyberabad areas, while the figure last year was 21. In 2016, majority of the victims were men, while this year the trend has reversed. There were just 14 women victims in 2016. On the other hand, we have already received complaints from 164 women this year. Cyber criminals have largely targeted housewives, Rachel Condor Assistant Commissioner of Police Cyber Crimes MD Riazuddin said. Apart from a fourfold rise in Rachel Condor, Cyberabad Commissioner 82 witnessed 10% jump in cases, while Hyderabad has not seen any increase in phishing cases. In most cases, women, not well versed with banking, were targeted. Even send a link to complete the transaction. The link appears like a genuine one, but with a minor error in spelling, said Satish Kumar, Cyberabad Assistant Commissioner of Police Cybercrimes, explaining the modus operandi of phishing attacks. Interestingly in Hyderabad, most victims were small companies with a turnover of back 12 crore. Cybercrime sleuths have, in fact, sought the help of National Association of Software and Service Companies NASSCOM as well as other agencies to reach out and alert companies. We are collecting details of all small and medium companies since these are the ones hit by us. The larger companies usually have proper cybersecurity measures in place. We will be sending email alerts to about 3,000 mid-sized companies. We are advising them to follow some key safety measures like making a call to check the authenticity of an email before making a payment, cross-check the exact email ID, make a small payment initially, confirm with the client and then transfer the remaining amount, Hyderabad Assistant Commissioner of Police Cyber Crimes K. Ragu Veer explained. Most phishing and ing attacks on companies were through emails. Usually, the company gets an email from foreign customers or sellers asking for a payment. Since the email IDs are like that of their regular clients, the payments are made. However, within days, they receive an email or a call from the clients seeking payment and that is when they discover that they have been hit, the official added. Usually, the victims were zeroed in on and then attempts were made to extract information from them. The perpetrator usually makes a phone call posing as an employee of a bank or a credit card company and asks for details. They ask for immediate payment of dues and even send a link to complete the transaction. The link appears like a genuine one, but with a minor error in spelling, said Satish Kumar, Cyberabad Assistant Commissioner of Police Cybercrimes, explaining the modus operandi of phishing attacks. Interestingly in Hyderabad, most victims were small companies with a turnover of 12 crore rupees. Cybercrime sleuths have, in fact, sought the help of National Association of Software and Service Companies NASSCOM as well as other agencies to reach out and alert companies. We are collecting details of all small and medium companies since these are the ones hit by us. The larger companies usually have proper cybersecurity measures in place. We will be sending email alerts to about 3,000 mid-sized companies. We are advising them to follow some key safety measures like making a call to check the authenticity of an email before making a payment, cross-check the exact email ID, make a small payment initially, confirm with the client and then transfer the remaining amount, Hyderabad Assistant Commissioner of Police Cyber Crimes K. Ragu Veer explained. Most phishing and ing attacks on companies were through emails. Usually, the company gets an email from foreign customers or sellers asking for a payment. Since the email IDs are like that of their regular clients, the payments are made. 
However, within days, they receive an email or a call from the clients seeking payment and that is when they discover that they have been hit. The official added get latest news live updates on the go on your PC with news app. Download the Times of India news app for your device. Related actively historian orbit.com traveler buzz greenings travel fun to safety panel nod for metro rollout CMK Chandra Seca Rao ropes in CMs for quota stir in Delhi fun cabiers couplets met rock pop reggae beats.